So how do you sharpen curved blades anyway? Here's the easiest way I know how. First of all, if they need a lot of work, you can touch them up with one of these easy lap sharpeners. I like to take this camping and hiking too, in case you need to sharpen a blade. So the first step is don't get your, let your blade get super dull in the first place. Second step is to go ahead and actually use it to cut in a piece of soft scrap wood. In this case I'm going about a foot long. Wee bit. This has never been sharpened before. It's just a fac old factory edge. We'll see how this works out. Now you've got the profile cut into the wood of the actual cutter. I'm going to go ahead and take some of this side off of here so we don't need to sharpen that. And it will provide better access in our next step. Which is to lather this up with some rubbing compound. work that into the grain. may end up going coarser even. We'll see how this works out. But now you've got a custom strop specifically made for that exact cutter. Obviously this will work with molding planes and whatnot as well. As you bring this across here you want to ensure that you have full contact on the bevel that you're matching that original angle. Also, when you get to the back, I'd recommend dropping your hands. That way, you aren't rounding off the cutting edge. You're rounding off a he the heel, it doesn't even matter. All right, that's what it looks like after polishing. You can see in the middle, there's still Hopefully you can see that in the middle there's still a little bit of rough. I do believe this was hollow ground, but it is polished closer to both faces. So it'll cut real well. I don't need to remove that metal in the middle. Since it's not getting polished, it's obviously on a different plane. That won't interfere with the cut. Now if you got these flat bits on anything, you can sharpen that on a flat stone just like anything else. So we'll hit those real quick and then we'll get the back. got it flat just past the arch there so that's plenty far enough. As you can see I actually took off quite a bit of metal there sadly. But there we go. I'd also like to note don't use the ruler trick here because you want to get flat back past the top of the curve. I want the whole profile to be flat. I'll probably run this over my strop one last time to knock off the burr and we'll see how it cuts. That's a huge improvement. 